Some dreams aren't always planned and organized. The other day, this happened. Don't bend, don't break, baby, don't back down. It's my life. Yeah. Rock. We decided to leave everything behind and start a journey to fulfill a hundred dreams. We are a couple of dreams. Welcome back to another episode of A Couple of Dreams. If you're new to our channel, I'm Rotem. And I'm Ashley. And this channel is A Couple of Dreams because we are on a journey to fulfill 100, 100 dreams. dreams. If you are a dreamer, please make sure to click the subscribe button and the bell to know every time we have a new episode. And go back and watch some of the amazing dreams that we've already done. Yeah. Basically, today's episode is a bit different because Unlike most of our dreams, we didn't plan it. We didn't come with the camera and decided over a dream that we want to make and fulfill. This dream just kind of happened. It fell out of the sky. It yeah. just fell on us. So we moved to Nepal after six months in India and we kind of fell in love with Kathmandu because it's just a beautiful place. Just like every new city that we go to, we have a tradition that we want to mark Rotem and Ashley in a new city by having a cocktail. A cocktail. So it was time for our traditional new city cocktail. So we were walking the streets and we hear this amazing, amazing voice, basically live performance. We go up to this little bar and this guy, the son of Freddie Mercury like and the love Michael child. Jackson. Like, like, imagine that, the yeah. love child of, of Freddie, Freddie Mercury and, and Michael. Michael Jackson. Like two of our heroes. Yeah. There's one baby in Basically amazing. And so we leave the bar after a few songs and drinks and we go down, we walk in the street and suddenly I see a sign. Rock bar. Ah! Yeah. Now needless to say, oh, I Ashley... Messed up. I messed up. Yeah. They go like this. Yeah. Oh, you're so embarrassing. I am the biggest rocker. Oh my god. Uh, I'm supporting my new rock look. If any of you are wondering why I look like this, why my head looks like it's upside down. Well, Basically, I really wanted Ashley to put a beard on. It's been a while that I wanted it. I was unsure whether or not the beard was right, so we took to Instagram and we asked you guys to vote on whether or not you think I should keep the beard or not, and you voted. This is the result, and everyone said yes! So if you want to be part of stupid stuff like this that we do, then go and check out our Instagram, yeah. and you can take part in votes on whether or not I should Cut my facial hair. And now we have a beard! ACO Dreams Instagram, check it out for more beard stuff. Not or, just beard no, stuff. Not just beard, yeah. Anyway. Anyway, back to, back to our story. Rock bar. Ah. I love rock music. Like, this is what I grew up on. It's in my veins. And it's not everything. She's every a secret day. rocker. I yeah. mean, she's a secret rocker. Look at the hair. I mean, yeah. I, but... can, I can do that. <laughs> with your beard. Anyway, we go up and we expect this little tiny bar with one guitar. There was this star, just to give you perspective. Yeah. Busy street, tiny steps, like these little stairs up. We're expecting, like, very similar to the bar we went to before. Somewhere cool, like, no. tiny... Yeah, no, it wasn't. No. Massive, massive venue with, like, 300 people in. Maybe more. And a massive stage. Yeah. A traditional rock band. Mm. Drummer, guitarist, bass, singer, and they were amazing. Literally, there was a crowd rocking out, and we were like, what have we amazing. just stumbled across? And the first thing Ashley says to me. How much would you love to be on that stage? Uh, he knows me. I would love to be on this stage. Like So we're looking at this stage, and... We're thinking, oh wow, oh, how incredible would it be to be on the stage? And suddenly and we see different singers come up onto up. stage and suddenly we see a sign that says Open, Open Mic, Mic Night. Night. Hmm. 
I'm like, oh my god, this is an unbelievable opportunity. I'm going to the bar, there is a list there with all the songs they can do. I know the words for none of them, but I decide I don't care. I don't care if I can sing it, I don't care about the lyrics. I want to be on this stage. I'm also he, looking he I'm also looking at the list thinking, well, I'd love to be up there, but I don't have the balls that she does. I don't have balls. I'm just a good I'm a lady. She's a lady. So Rock. We, <laughs> we choose a song which is It's My Life. And it's my life. And it's now or, or never. never. Yeah. I, I just wanna, wanna leave forever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We didn't know how long it was gonna be till she was gonna perform. So we're just waiting. Mm -hmm. And all I can think of is, oh my God, I'm going to stand on the stage in front of three, 400 people with this insane band. And I don't know the words. I'm gonna stand with my phone and I don't have the voice for it. I don't know if you can hear, but I'm sick. And she does have a great voice. Not for this. I, I don't know if I can trust myself on it and what the hell am I going to do there? But then 10 minutes later, so they're like, Welcome to the stage, Miss Rotten Matugin. I hear my name and I'm starting to walk under, <laughs> into like a hole, you know, like Alice in Wonderland. I'm going into the hole underneath the stage and up. And then I'm just standing there in front of all these people. Oh my god, my knees were shaking. I love this. I love the stage. I love the stage. I think it's the best place in the world. And still. Rotem is probably one of the most confident people that I've ever met in my entire life. I'm standing with the crowd, filming with the phone, watching her think, and my heart is pounding. I cannot believe that she's standing there in front of like a few hundred people about to sing a song that she doesn't <laughs> know with a rock band. Yeah. It was insane! It was insane! The thing is this, they, they, they did it in a key that is really low to me, so I was like, this is a song for the broken hearted. Bam, 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 bam. Should we show them? Yeah. So this is basically what happened. What happened. done and the crowd was crazy oh with God, me it, it was, was amazing unbelievable and then we were like maybe we should do another one and they're like what do you think about sweet child of mine i was like guns and roses here i come this is my sweet 16 music you know Whoa! 
Sweet child of mine. What was that? It's my inner rocker. It's very in. In, 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 in. In, 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 in. It's tiny, beanie. Wham! Anyways, so I'm doing Sweet Child of Mine, which is a dream as itself. I was like listening to Guns N' Roses all through my adultness. Adultness. Adulthood? Adultness. Adultness? We'll go with adultness. <laughs> So you were listening to Guns N' Roses all the way through your adultness. <laughs> Be careful, I'll pull your beard. Fuck! <laughs> Fuck! So basically, what's amazing about this dream is that we really couldn't anticipate it. But what an amazing dream to perform with a live rock band. <laughs> with people standing behind the fence and like rocking, like hard rock and like screaming at me like yeah! You know, like sweet child of mine. I was like, whoa! I'm like a rock star, I'm a rock star. It was unbelievable. It was unbelievable. And give you, to give you context, it wasn't like we had planned anything. We had arrived in Kathmandu at 5 a.m. Same we, day. The same day. We had walked the streets to try and find somewhere to stay. It was raining. Eventually we found somewhere. We went to sleep. We woke up like... I was tired. I was irritated after a long day. I didn't know the song and I had no idea how I'm going to stand on stage. Nothing matters. When it comes to my dreams right now in this journey, I am saying yes to each and every one of them because I don't know when I'll have the chance again. And we live once. And if, they, if life gives you the chance to fulfill a dream, grab it! Grab it! <laughs> grab, it. grab it with both hands and, and, and fulfill it and take it. Like it's because it, it's such an amazing feeling. Didn't think that we're going to have any dream. Like, let alone sing with a rock band in front of 400 people. So, we want to leave you on this note and let that be a message to you guys that you never know where your dreams are and no matter how much they scare you or no matter how scared you might be or tired or whatever excuse you have under the sun, put them to one side and go and oh. do it because it's worth it. You never know what's going to happen. Yeah. Please keep chasing your dreams. Follow them, find them and... And on this note, we really want to tell you that life is a journey of dreams. This is what it is. What else other than, like, it, life is not work and then retire when you're 70 and start thinking about dreams. Life is what, what dreams do you have and how can you fulfill them? Do everything you can to follow your dreams, please. Please. That's all we've got time for today. Please guys, as we said at the beginning, make sure to click that subscribe button and follow us on our journey to fulfill 100 dreams. We're gonna be fulfilling more of our dreams and hopefully more of other people's along the way. Let us know what you think in the comments. Smash the like button. And if you haven't already, once again, please hit subscribe. Yeah. Follow us, we love you, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Rock. Which rock song is your favorite all-time rock song? Wait, it's her mum. So we are filming right now, so I will call you. Anywho, what is your favorite all-time rock song? Write rock. to us in the comments below, because I want to know if we have the same taste, or you're like maybe more old school, maybe new, new school. stuff. Anna, where are you standing with this rock stuff? Rock. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, rock!